Yes, please. Oh, sorry, I'll have to welcome them first. Josh Baker, Anne Emery, and Decca Wormsley. I love it. I just, it's a, it was a, a great film. It's one of those things that you think, how is it going to work when it transfers onto the stage? Um, but brilliantly, so. I mean, yeah. it's just a fantastic piece. Let's talk about Billy Elliot, though, and it's, you know, an iconic part, really, now. There are four of you. Yes, there's four of us. So how do you share it out, then? We do two shows a week, and every week there's one Billy at home. So I'm going to be home this week. Right. Home being your real home. Yeah, my real home. Right. And the rest of the time the Billies live together. Yeah, we live in a house. In it's a big house. Fun. Yeah. And, and who looks after you in the house? We have uh, about two house parents who look after us during the week and then two in the weekend. It's great fun. So it's a bit like being at boarding school, kind of. Sort of, yeah. Yeah. Because you have to do schoolwork as well. Yeah, we do schoolwork at 9 o'clock in the morning to 12. And then we have lunch and then at 1 o'clock we go to our rehearsals. Right. So a bit of school work, a bit yeah. of dance. I mean, it's, it's a really comprehensive role, though, isn't it? It's putting all your faculties to the test. Yeah, dancing, singing, acting, everything. Which is your favourite? For me, the dancing. Yeah. Yeah. And it's, it's all about the dance. It's just a, it's a great story. And Decca, you're, wow, you're, uh, you're new to the, relatively uh, yeah, new I'm to the, the new cast. Boy. Yeah, yeah. Are they, have they made you feel warm and welcome? They pulled you into the bosom uh, of the show? No, they're all horrible. <laughs> Uh, no, they're, they're brilliant. They're brilliant. Uh, you, cannot, you cannot help but be inspired by the Billies. I mean, uh, you know, for the the age that they are, I'm trying to say, not in a patronising mm. way, but just. You I think mean, about yourself at that age? Yeah, I, well, how no, self assured yeah. they are. Yeah, there's just no way I could have done anything like that. Yeah. Being that confident uh, at, when I was 12, 13. They're incredible. I have to put up with her. Uh, <laughs> I was like that at 13. <laughs> well, dreadful. You're like that. <laughs> Terrible. Well, Dick Emery is your half brother, so yes. you obviously came from uh, a very funny and background. a very theatrical. Yes, every, every line was comedy, yes. Yeah, family get togethers. I mean, this time of year, Christmas yes. time. You, <laughs> yeah. was, it, was it just laugh a minute? I won't tell you what my father used to dress up, but still, it's <laughs> great fun. <laughs> Tea cosy and the, a brush. <laughs> Was his Christmas outfit. And we laughed, it was funny. Yeah. yeah. And you're. <laughs> he used to just come in from the bedroom like that, you know, just for fun. What if you brought a friend home up. with you, though, who didn't know him? I think that's where Dick got his cro cross dressing from, I think. <laughs> Is that cross dressing? That's what they yeah, call it. Yeah, kind of. I think it's just being I adventurous. I never knew about cross dressing until yeah. Billy Christmas Ellie. Brush. You do that. Yeah. <laughs> He's going, what? <laughs> yes, what? <laughs> we try and shield them from this kind of thing. Um, so you're a legend of, of musicals. Oh, I'm a legend, yes. <laughs> <laughs> How does this compare to other performances, other, other productions that you've been in? Uh, how does it compare? compare yeah. Well, there's, there's nothing like playing Grandma in Billy Elliot. There's nothing like being in this show. It's just, it's just wonderful. I was in Betty Blue Eyes before, which was all about a... <laughs> and, um, oh, there it is, yes. Yeah. And I played this amazing old woman called Mother Dear. Every, every house has got one, you know, the dreaded grandmother. You don't do two shows. Uh, I, did, do, I do, I do eight, do eight shows a week. Shows I still week, yeah. eight, eight shows a week, darling. Yes, two on Thursday and two on Saturday. Dib dib. How do you how do you keep the energy going? Well, I love it. That's what keeps me going. Yeah. Like you doing your gymnastic. Whoa! Oh, a long time <laughs> Wonderful. ago. Wonderful. You love it. Love yeah. it. Yeah, but it energises you, doesn't it? So, yes, absolutely. Yeah. Yes. And when I get into the theatre, I feel good. I feel, you know, warm, wanted, and everything. And I've got Tony to do my hair and makeup and everything, and these boys to work with. Don't I? Yeah. Aren't do you, I lucky? Do you actually, and him. Are you kind of grandma, you know, around the, you know, off stage, around Well, the I'm treated like an old lady. Of course I am. I'm 81. Wow. wow. Yes, yes. And I... I, I have... There's a round of applause. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> I had my 80th birthday in the Billy House. And Did you? you weren't in the show then. That was, no, when was that? No. Two thought what how well, what's the date this was this year after I'm so lost. Uh, but what's twenty eleven? You're good with words, aren't you? <laughs> <laughs> you taught me everything, darling. <laughs> <laughs> and, and Decker, why do you think the story I mean, you're you're a Geordie, you yeah. know, uh, you're authentic to this role. Yeah. And why do you think the story has worked so It's well? just a combination of, of uh, in, in terms of the musical, it's the combination of all the elements just all being brilliantly put together. Mm. I mean, the script, he's such a brilliant writer, Lee, and I've known him since we are in youth theatre together. Really? And I did his other play, Pitman Painters, for nearly four years. And he's just brilliant. He has his finger completely on a pulse of how to engage people, how to make them laugh, and how to absolutely draw people into a mm. story. It's beautifully put together, and the people in it. And do you... Do you appreciate Billy's dilemma and Billy's struggle. I mean, how difficult was it for you to, to persuade those around you that you wanted to dance when you were little? Um, 
it was fine with them all my family, but um, a couple of friends at school got a bit of stick from it, but um, they got used to it now, so. Well, now fine. you're on the West End stage. Yeah. Yeah. Really? <laughs> <laughs> uh -huh. Yeah, exactly. Look at me. Exactly. But it wasn't that you, all your mates were doing it. You weren't from a kind of theatrical school, necessarily. No, it wasn't. It was just me, so they yeah. found it a bit weird. But. And what was it that drew you in? How did you first start? I saw a video, my mum showed me a video of Fred Astaire tap dancing up walls when I was younger. And I thought that if I could tap dance, I could tap dance up walls. <laughs> so I got into it, yeah. Ever done it? <laughs> no. <laughs> got halfway up a wall? <laughs> yeah. Realised it was a mistake. No. <laughs> yeah. And, that, and that? that's quite, you know, let's have a little look actually at uh, some of the moves because, uh, you know, it's, it's so energetic. It's not just dance, is it? There's gymnastics yeah. as well. And this is one of the other billies, I think. Yes, it is. Got here. I think so, yeah. Um, and they're doing, uh, well, this is just a pirouette actually. Um, and you're going to practice your teaching skills. And yes. you're going to teach me. Fortunately, I've got a skirt on, which means if I lift my leg up, camera two gets more for Christmas than he bargained for. Ah! So, yeah. I'll just do a simple pirouette, okay. if that's all right. Yeah, um, sure. So you're going to teach me. This Woo! is not a dance area. It used to be the rhythmic gymnastics area. Previous to that, it was the craft area. Yes. Um, okay, so what should I do? Just start off in second. Right. Like and then go to fourth. Yeah. Then you're going to use this arm to whip around and oh, okay. turn We're you. going that way? Yes. Right, okay. Like this. Yay! If you want a day off over Christmas, I could fill in for you. Yeah. Okay. okay. Well, thank you for that. I, okay. I feel my education is complete. Yeah. Uh, do you have to keep training all the time? Because you, presumably your dance education can't just stop at 13, can no, it? No, yeah. We rehearse every day. And then we either do shows at the night or we have more rehearsals at night. So. And is this the career for you now, do you think? Yeah, I want to be a choreographer when I'm older. Right. We had Arlene Phillips on the show the other day. Did you? She, yeah, she's choreographed quite a few West End yeah, musicals. She has, yeah. yeah. And is that the kind of those kind of shows or contemporary dance? What, what kind contemporary. of contemporary? I right. like that kind of dancing. Okay. Fantastic. Well, good luck, Josh. Thank, thank you. you, and thank you, Decca, as well for coming in. Great to have you here. Good luck with the whole show, and it keeps on running and running, doesn't it? Thank you. No yeah, end in sight. Lovely to, great to meet you as well, and you. Thank and you, you, darling. Thank um, you. We've had a great day today, haven't we? Thank you to all my guests, of course.